Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and welcome my Utah fans. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to the NHL community. We have a lot of fun here. Sometimes things get a little bit toxic, but I think you'll enjoy it for the most part. And if you are already a new subscriber here to the Utah fan base, uh, welcome back because you guys have been watching my other videos on Utah. Uh, man, the Utah situation is continuing to get interesting. Um, so Ryan Smith had an interview the other day with uh, Elliot Friedman and Jeff Merrick on the 32 Thoughts podcast, and he kind of talked about what's going to happen here with the team naming situation and some details that might help you guys figure out what the next team name might be. And we got some hints, we got some trademarks for what potentially could be playing in the fall at the Delta Center. So... Let's start off with some of the names that were already trademarked, and then we're going to go over some of the newer additions. There were two more names trademarked recently, so I don't know if this is them playing games. Like, they threw the first five out there just to see if people would look at them, and then the next two were kind of like, let's slip those under the radar, and then the next two were just kind of to add more smoke and mirrors. I don't know what it is here. I don't know what Ryan Smith and the, the strategy is for Utah, but let's just get to the names. That's what you guys are here for, right? So here we are. So the first names we saw were the Utah Blizzard, the Utah Fury, the Utah Hockey Club, and Utah HC. I'm going to go right off the bat and tell you, the third and fourth name are not happening. Guys, we are not, this is not soccer. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. No Utah Hockey Club, no Utah HC, none of that. Please, for the love of God, I will hate this team for eternity if they are the Utah Hockey Club. Do not do that. You have all these beautiful name selections, the beautiful logos that could be put on a jersey. Do not screw this up putting up Utah Hockey Club. I don't think it's going to happen, but Lord help us if they are. So anyway, let's go back to the rest of the names that were announced later on. So you've got the Utah Outlaws, the Utah Venom, and the Utah Yetis. So of those first seven names, the Blizzard... Reminds me too much of the Dairy Queen thing. You have to have some kind of sponsorship with DQ if you're going to name yourselves the Blizzard. Fury, again, kind of sounds like a, and this is not a knock on these teams, but it kind of sounds like a women's basketball team or a soccer team name. The Fury doesn't work for me. The Utah Outlaws. This one's kind of interesting because nobody's really talked about the idea of the Outlaws. The only problem I have with this is I believe the UNLV Outlaws is the name of the Red Raiders. Or are they the Red Raiders? Whatever UNLV, right? Aren't they the Outlaws or something like that? And that's in Vegas. So I don't know if Outlaws, that, that seems like more of a Vegas vibe to me or a desert team than a Utah team. But I, I, I'd love to know what you guys think of that one. That one's kind of interesting. Then you've got the Venom. So obviously that is in some kind of translation with snakes, rattlesnakes, something to that effect. And I don't hate that idea either. It could be a pretty cool logo, but it's not working with me. It's not working with me. And that's why I think of the seven teams that are not emboldened, I think the Utah Yetis is my favorite. So a couple of reasons. The first one being, going back to what I mentioned earlier with Ryan Smith in his interview with 32 Thoughts podcast is there was a lot of speculation that he wants to bring the same sort of color scheme, maybe not the exact same, but a similar palette. He said he kept saying the word color palette to the Utah Jazz. Now, if you look at the Utah Jazz's color palette, what are we looking at, right? So the Utah Jazz... Let's pull up the logo here because they did a rebrand a couple of years ago. And what you're looking at here, let me just, I'm just going to pull up the, the uniforms just so you guys get an idea of kind of what we're working with here. Here we go. So this is the Utah colors. So you've got purple, blue, which I hope they go more so for that than the latter, which is the yellow and black and white. So we have a ton of yellow and black or gold in the NHL. I think that purple would be perfect for some kind of NHL team name. Now, there was a lot of discussion. Would they go with the yellow and black if this team was called the Stingers or the Bees? Because you guys have mentioned that as a potential idea. And I loved that idea. You guys, in my other video I made, 
I talked a lot about, you know, potentially some kind of, because they're known for having a lot of bee farms and harvesting bees in Utah. And I think it's the state animal or something like that. And you could name the arena the beehive, right? And you've got all the buzz in the arena, right? There's a lot, there's a lot of little things you could do with that. But it doesn't look like they're going that direction here, at least so far. So that yellow and black color scheme doesn't really work here. Now, that's where going back here, do we see them go with one of these other names that is mentioned? Let's go to it. The most recent additions are the Utah Ice and the Utah Mammoth. Now, for me, the easy one of those two is definitely the Mammoth. I think the Woolly Mammoth as your mascot, you could have a cute little mascot. You could have a kind of a scary, more ferocious looking logo, right? Because mammoths are these big, strong animals. Now, there's definitely the easy sort of... You know, if they get eliminated from the playoffs or something like that, you know, here comes the mammoth becoming extinct. There's definitely easy ways to sort of roast this team or very easily get memed. But like I said, it's a strong animal. There's, you know, a, it's seen as an animal that is a little bit of a threat. So I could see that one working as well. And that's why the thumbnail is probably telling and, you know, Shout out to AI for that because I made those edits from AI and I love how they came out. It looks really, really cool, especially the Yeti one. Um, but anyway, I think those two are my favorite. I think the Mammoth, the Utah Mammoth, and the Utah Yetis. Same things, right? You've got really potentially good logos. And if you look online, there are plenty of good logos. I don't want to, you know, discredit some of the people for using their logos, but make sure to check those out. The NHL Utah logos, there's plenty of prototypes online that could be really good for both the Mammoth and the Yetis. The mascots could be incredible and pretty, pretty easy to do that as well. And the color scheme, which I think could be, there's a couple of people that have had some interesting ones. Two that I've really liked Utah NHL. So, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys because why not here? So, what's interesting is there's a lot of different palettes of jersey that I've seen. So, the first one here is, this is from somebody's um, YouTube channel, I think. Um... It's almost like a purple and blue, which I think is pretty cool. I'm on board with that, right? It's not too bad. Another kind of different look. And shout out to uh, Carter Richard or Richard Carter, because this is a pretty cool one. I like this one too. Kind of gives me the Colorado Avalanche vibes with the mountains on the bottom, but it's a pretty nice jersey, right? It's pretty clean. It's not too sophisticated. There's not a ton going on, but I think that's actually to its advantage. This one, you could see that incorporation of that sort of purple and blue, which is similar to the, the jazz, right? So there's a lot of different things they could do here. I'm really interested to see what you guys think of those jersey and name selections. What do you think is best for Utah? Because right now and i made a video basically a week ago which that is my highest rated video in like the past year and a half two years that video did so well so shout out to my utah fans out there that is awesome um this is kind of an update because now we've got some updated details hopefully we'll be getting a team name here in the next couple of months i hope it's before they start playing um you know ryan smith said it could be something within the next one to three months which should be right before the season hopefully that way they could sell merchandise and jerseys and all that stuff before they start playing because man you're missing a huge opportunity here if you don't have all that stuff in place before puck drop and i think that's something they're going to be focusing on and everyone's saying like oh it's going to take them potentially six months to a year to get a name it's like why are you going to wait that long? That that sounds ridiculous to me. It's not that hard to come up with a name and a brand and a design. But if they're already doing a bracket and things like that, and that is something they're doing, they're going to be doing a bracket challenge to pick the team names. And we're going to find out who the finalists are. And then eventually they'll give the grand reveal, which should be pretty exciting. So make sure to stay tuned for that as we will be announcing the team name here on the channel. Hopefully when that comes out here over this summer. So if you've not already... 
Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest news around this newest Salt Lake City team and the rest of the National Hockey League news. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you again next time. Peace out, guys.